everyone, I'm Anne Marie from Brambleberry.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a relaxing, hydrating body cream. This is a particularly rich and luxurious recipe because we used cocoa butter in it. We also sub some of the water with a lavender essential water, which is essentially a lavender hydrosol. And we're adding extracts of chamomile and carrot extract, both known for their nourishing, moisturizing, and soothing abilities. In terms of our oils, we're using a little bit of rosehip seed oil and sweet almond oil. And the fragrance, talk about a spa-like aromatherapy fragrance. I love this fragrance. It's wild heather and thyme, and it is herbaceous, fresh, and it really does smell like a beautiful aromatherapy fragrance. And you'll notice I did add just a little bit of Queen's Purple Mica from Brambleberry to get a really pretty soothing color, totally optional. You'll also notice we're calling this a cream and not a body butter. What's the difference? Well, the cream is emulsified oils with water, meaning we're using an emulsifying wax to get the oils and the water to mix. When we're making body butters, those are anhydrous, meaning without water products, and those are usually just a mixture of whipped butters. In this case, since it's a cream that has a water base, you'll notice it really does absorb beautifully into the skin and provide long-lasting hydration, even though it has such rich, luxurious oils. And speaking of that water, anytime you use water in your products, you do need a preservative. In this case today, I'm gonna to be using Optifin, Optifen is a wonderful broad spectrum antibacterial, antimicrobial, and it works with a wide variety of pHs. It's a non-formaldehyde donor and it's paraben free. You use it a very low amount and trust me, you need this because mold way, way, way worse in terms of getting someone sick if it gets into a cut or just ruins your product. First things first, in order to prevent mold and bacteria from forming, we do need to start with a clean environment. So we are going to be disinfecting our product with bleach water. And if I was doing this at home and I was making products, I would be making sure I'd be wearing gloves and also have my hair back in a hairnet because you don't want anything to get into your product. So here I've just got this really easy bleach solution in just a regular spray bottle. A lot of people will just do a full 5% bleach solution and just dunk their stuff in like a normal kind of kitchen or a restaurant would do. And so you wanna make sure that you're doing your bowls, you wanna make sure that you're doing all of your utensils, you wanna make sure that you're doing anything that is going to come into contact with the water or the product. So now I have my distilled water in here, and it's important you use distilled water and not tap water, right? Because like the whole point of making sure nothing grows, right? That's why we disinfected everything, that's why we use preservatives, is you also don't use tap water because you don't want anything to grow in your product. So this is distilled water, and I'm gonna be using the lavender essential water to add some really luxurious, beautiful notes of both essential oil type of fragrance here, but also, some really nice nourishment to your skin. So this is gonna go into the microwave, so we heat it up before we get our process started. All right, so while my water is heating up, now it's time to melt down our oils. And the oils and the waxes do really well together, uh, so I usually add them all together. So the recipe is below, so make sure you refer to that, but I'm gonna be adding my rosehip seed oil and my sweet almond oil. I already have my different butters in this Pyrex heat safe container. Now this is a science, meaning you do need the correct amounts. So you do want to be weighing with a scale that is digital preferably. That way you can make sure you're very precise with your measurements. And what happens if you weigh just a little bit or a little bit goes awry? It's not exactly like cold process soap where things get like ruined, ruined, but the consistency of your product will be off if you're too much off in your measurements. So make sure you're trying really hard to keep it very precise. Now I'm just gonna melt this down in the microwave. And if you don't have a microwave, you can use a double boiler. Microwave is really easy and efficient though. Okay, this is where the magic happens. Our oils and waxes are about 160 and our water with the lavender essential water is about 160. This is so fun. I love the magic of emulsification. And if you've never made lotion before, prepare to go, wait, it's that easy? Here we go. So stick blender in and you pour slowly and you'll see it right away. Do you see that white? Right there, that is the emulsification starting to happen. 
and if we were to do nothing right now, like no stick blending, no nothing, it wouldn't stay emulsified. So you do need to stick blend. What we're trying to do is to get all the little water molecules and the oil molecules to basically stick together using that emulsifying wax. And so the stick blender makes that dancing process, that, that kind of matching process go way faster. So now we're fully emulsified. We're also just a little bit airy because I did whip a bunch of air bubbles in there. So I am gonna try and let this sit for just a, just a hot minute to let those air bubbles come up. You can also spray with rubbing alcohol on the very top if you wanna get rid of the air bubbles. And I like to get rid of the air bubbles because when you pour into these containers, what ends up happening is the air bubbles whoop, rise to the surface and then the first use that someone has of the product ends up being kind of weirdly air bubbly, deflated air bubbles. It's not a great user experience. So if I can't get these air bubbles to go away by the end after I've added my extracts and stuff, I will do a little bit of rubbing alcohol on the top just to get those air bubbles to go. Now I'm gonna be adding my extracts, my fragrance, and the final step, the preservative. And I'm weighing all of these. So now it's time to add the extracts. I'm gonna start with the carrot extract and the carrot extract is particularly good at helping to soothe angry kind of red skin. It's also really good for mature skin. So keep that in mind, very moisturizing and conditioning. And then Optifin's gonna be last because that's our preservative. And we always want our temperatures to be as low as possible when working with preservatives. The chamomile extract is going in next and that is fantastic for, again, retaining hydration and moisture, also really well known for helping to reduce redness and irritation in skin. And then finally, we're gonna do our Wild Heather and Thyme. Now this product is really a wonderful light scent for any sort of body cream product. You wanna make sure that when you're scenting that you're being pretty careful, really conservative with how much scent you're putting in because you're not making a perfume or a perfume. You are trying to just give a little bit of scent. Then finally, we're gonna do our Optifen. We're down to 118 with the temperatures, which means the Optifen will remain in full protection mode. If it gets too warm, it can lose a little bit of its effectiveness. That's why we add it right at the end. Then another thing we're gonna add right at the end is this optional Queen's Purple Mica. And I'm gonna just, it's really a very small amount we're gonna use, it's just about one fourth teaspoon. And I might give this one quick stick blend just to get everything in perfectly. I wanna make sure that the extracts emulsify in and that the mica is really in there. So just a real quick stick blend, trying not to get any air bubbles in. And now that that is all in, now it's time to pour into our jars. Now this product being so thick, it's a cream, remember, lots of beautiful, gorgeous butters and waxes. You definitely don't want to be putting this into anything that needs a pump. This would bring a pump to its knees. It's really thick and luxurious. So you take your product and you just pour it in and I'm just gonna do it by hand. And then once it's in, I usually wait a few hours, at least half an hour to cap it. And that's because if there's any residual water that is still coming off because it's evaporating off due to the heat, it will condense on top of your lids. And that's not that big of a deal, except when the condensation then drops back down into the lotion, looks a little odd, and is a lot of water that can pool kind of at the top of your lotion or your cream. So I won't put anything on these for at least probably half an hour to let this fully cool. The product does harden up and thicken up as it sits, so keep that in mind. That said, as soon as it's hard, as soon as it's thick, it is ready to use right away. Make sure if you're selling it that you follow labeling instructions. We have lots of articles about how to label lotions and cosmetics properly. And these are really gorgeous. I'm definitely putting one of these by my bed. 
because it's so soothing and relaxing, perfect for nighttime. And since it's such a hydrating cream, it's gonna be a great foot lotion as well to put on your feet, toss those cotton socks on and go to sleep and wake up with really soft little toes in the morning. Thanks for watching today. If you make this product or any product you learn from this channel or from brambleberry.com, please hashtag it bramble on on social so we can see what you're making. Until next time, everyone, happy soaping. To the right, to the right, everything you own in a box to the right. There's more towels there on the floor. On the floor, on the floor. Everything you find in your room, on the floor. Disinfect, whew. I don't know how much I need. <laughs> how much do I need? 2.6. Two and 1.6, okay. We love the microwave. We're big fans of modern technology. Modern technology is our friend. Just on, exactly. just on. It's not just talking on camera that you get better at, you get applying lipstick blind better at. It's always so fun to see what we've left down here.